All right, and welcome everyone to another Sound Goblin Gaming Poke Monday stream. Uh, I'm, as usual, Shiv. I'm Bograt. I'm the Krampus. I'm Hunter Green. And I'm ready for this uh, Abomination Simulator. Yeah, so this is a uh, Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Uh, it is a Pokemon fan game that has uh, 420 Pokemon. It has all of Gen 1 and Gen 2. And then a selection <laughs> of Pokemon up through Gen uh, 7. Um, combining a full Pokedex, quote-unquote, of 420 Pokemon. But as you can see by the, uh, the base screen here, uh, you can fuse any two Pokemon in the game together to make... Uh, Sometimes horrifying, sometimes not so horrifying monsters. Uh, that is including you can fuse a Pokemon with itself. itself. <laughs> yes, <that'll be laughs> um, and also, uh, in combination across all of them, it's something like 175,000 possible combinations. Yeah, uh, so this does have a randomizer and all that kind of stuff available. We're going to run through just on this classic. Yeah, there's actually a few different uh, modes built into it that are uh, pretty solid, actually. What was the difference between classic and modern? I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, I am pulling up the list right now so we can talk about it, because uh, I, if I remember correctly, the test game that I was playing of this, uh, I actually played on modern settings, because uh, I don't like annoyance. Um, yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like probably a lot of the quality of life things they've done like, these screens all have more info, so you can see the difference are. So easy is makes all your Pokemon your team gain. Basically, as if you had uh, XP share on. Um, okay. Universal. Uh, hard mode makes trainers hard, higher level and have better AI. Uh, and they all have healing items. Uh, and you don't get to see the next Pokemon before you switch. We will just be playing on normal. Um, reversed swaps the fusions that... Uh, trainers that you'll meet out in the field have. So basically, if you're playing through again, you can do reverse, so your fight's a little bit different. Okay. Um, regular starters is regular starters. Yeah, so specifically what modern mode does, uh, normally you can, you can act, the first time you play it, you can actually only select classic mode, but once you have a save file of any sort, so literally if you just start the game, save, and then come back to the main menu, you can select the other options. Um, modern mode specifically changes wild Pokemon and trainer Pokemon to use more of the later generation Pokemon. Ah, neat. Uh, This is playing the core conceit here. Uh, Sylph Company made DNA splicers. Their revolutionary device that extracts the DNA of two Pokemon and combines them into one horrible Pokemon. Uh, and to also explain, at the moment there is only, I believe, a single special mode in the game, which is called Single Species Mode. Uh, it specifically means that all the Pokémon you face in the game, both Wild and Trainer, uh, will be fusions involving a specific Pokémon that you select. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. So we can fuse Pokémon. You can also unfuse Pokémon. Um basically by using the same yes. thing to fuse them together can unfuse a fused Pokemon. Um, when you fuse a Pokemon, it basically ends up with a mix of the IVs, the two Pokemon that's being fused together. Uh, the head, uh, the stats are basically two-thirds of the head and one-third of the body combined together. Um, you get to pick from one of the two abilities. The head provides the uh, first ability of the head Pokemon and the second ability of the body Pokemon. You get to choose which one you want. Um, you can choose their nature when you fuse them together. Um, you can fuse move sets if you want. Um, you don't have. You can keep one move set that one has or the other, or you can fuse their move sets together. Uh, There's and really no reason not to just not fuse, to just them, fuse together, them together because you still get to pick moves as you want. Yeah, and then uh, uh, each component that comprises a Pokemon will evolve separately. So, depending on what the evolution levels are, you can basically get five evolutions out of a single Pokemon if you combine two three-stage evolutions that evolve at different levels of each step. Also, uh, PS5. Suck it, Nintendo. That doesn't look like a PS5. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, this game uh, is actually a full, like, you know, fan game. It's not a ROM hack or anything like that. Yeah, it's an actual um, But at it... At its core, it is fire red leaf green as far as the actual like progress. 
uh, for, for the base game. They do have some post-game yeah. stuff they added in. Um, yes, but the, the, the base game, we will be doing the traditional, like, eight gyms of Fire, Red, Leaf, Green, and all of that. Just with some differences, because there will be fusion Pokemon everywhere. Yep. Uh, accepted by the Pokemon League as an official Pokemon trainer. Um, the other thing that it has that's actually interesting, and I don't think Shiv would have gotten to this, because I think you just tried it a little bit as your test game. I, I basically um, went far enough to fuse like one Pokemon, that was it. Yeah, so to make up for the fact that it is essentially a, uh, a fan game, and therefore doesn't have any of the normal sort of connection features, so, you know, no, no uh, trading, no ability to, you know, swap Pokemon with other people, things like that. Uh, it essentially has a mock wonder trade system, which instead of, like, uh, you just get, like, tickets to use it. Yeah, there's a, a mock wonder trade system. There is also... Um, there's, uh, like, traders in a lot of the Poke centers. Yeah, and Pokemon that do evolve on trade evolve at level 50. Yeah. Um, ah. And Pokemon that evolve on happiness evolve on 30 base. Um, some of the baby Pokemon uh, that evolve on happiness have different evolution levels, but they've all been given level evolutions as opposed to happiness or because uh, it's effectively Gen 1 that didn't have. Yeah. Yeah, they don't. They're, 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 there's not actually a happiness stat in this game. Uh, what do we want our rival to be named? I mean, I've got my own game running of this, so I have no input here. Lavere. Did you rival backwards? Yeah, that's, yes. what, I, that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Also, as you may notice, because this is, again, a fully comprised fan game and not a ROM hack, you just get to use the keyboard to type shit. Yeah, just use the keyboard Ex to type shit. <laughs> as it should be. <laughs> no, no, it's a fully comprised fan game, but we decided to make you have to use... Uh, your controller. Uh, if I remember correctly, anyways. I believe. Yeah, I believe this is. I I think you actually can select that as an option. Um, but I believe this is built on Game Maker. I want to say. Um, but using a uh, using like a basically a pre-built kind of set of like, hey, throw this into like Game Maker in order to make a Pokemon game. Basically, it's just like a tool set. Yeah, what will happen if you go run into the grass? Yeah, so uh, I just looked at it as well, looking at the stats. Uh, between all the Pokemon that exist in the game, you can essentially make 176,400 unique combinations. Yeah, and so, while well, we have our standard starters, we're going to take Charmander. And then your rival is an idiot. Yeah. Oh, really? He fuses the other two. <clears throat> he he gives up rival advantage. Fair enough. Mm. Yeah. And uh, when you do a fusion, the head is always the... It'll take the first typing of the head Pokemon and the second typing of the uh, body Pokemon... Unless there are if only they one have type, two typings, if there's one. only a single type, it just use, uses yeah. that type, yeah. Uh, and so does mean you can get in some weird combinations. Yes, and uh, there's a handful of Pokemon that have a fixed typing, even though they're dual type. Um, like Gyarados, for instance, is, always, is a water type. He is not a water flying, as far as fusions are concerned. I was uh, going to say, does if, that make the be always fucking flying? If you're a normal bird, you're always flying. Thank fucking God. Uh, like, Bulbasaur is no one. Bulbasaur is always grass, even though Bulbasaur is a grass poison type. Makes sense. Yeah, I believe the starters are all locked types. Yes, he's made Squirtasaur. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Like, he still does technically end up with type advantage via moves and, you know, stab bonus, but... Uh, but it's it's like, a water grass type, so it got rid of the fire. Uh, yeah, 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 basically, when, 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 when you actually face him, like, the next time and you actually have fire attacks on Charmander, they're going to be neutral against his main Pokémon. Yep. They, they will no longer be weak, because he's an idiot. Yeah. Uh, technically speaking, when you first load up the game, uh, and if I think if you don't do uh, the normal starters, you get Pikachu instead. Um, when, I believe so, when yes. When you start with Pikachu, he starts with an Eevee, and they have a unique sprite for Eevee that has bits of every single Eeveelution as part of it. Yep. Oh, wow, that's kind of creepy. It's really creepy. <laughs> I was uh, not prepared when I first saw it. I was doing my little test thing. <laughs> Brother my told, brother's an asshole. told me not here. to get this map, but he's a dick, so here, have it anyways. I can also rename uh, our rival. Because it is because they don't remember his name. It is worth noting, by the way, they also did an amazing April Fool's joke with this game a couple years ago. They did like a Dragon Ball April Fool's thing. Dragon Ball Infinite Fusion. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a, effectively a game that already exists. Not like this, it doesn't. <laughs> like, yes, I am aware of Dragon Ball Fusion. Trust me, this is way wilder. <laughs> Fear some pigeon. Charmin, Charmin, you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> Charmin, towards the enemy. Charmin just wants you to see how direction. cute he is. Uh, they they also did a uh, April Fool's edition last year, um, which just replaces all trainer fusions with Jincho fusions. Hmm. So I'm going to guess because there's only so much time in the universe uh, that there, there's no animation for the backs of Pokemon because they'd also have to do fusions for the backs of Pokemon. That's why Charmander is facing us. Yep, pretty much. I mean, it would basically double the 174,000 yeah. things they already have to do to make this work. Yes. If yeah, you could tell them, I just, they, don't blame they, them. They, yeah, they basically just horizontal flip. Oh god! Oh yeah. god! It's yeah. Heretigy! <laughs> heretigy. Uh, it is also worth noting, uh, in case you were worried about it, uh, which we will, we'll see it in a little bit here, uh, but when you when you do eventually get your Pokédex from uh, Professor Oak, he's like, Jesus, for the love of God, do not try and fill this thing. Yeah, cool. We'll see when we get back to him. <laughs> Yeah, I don't begrudge them for the animations, but I do find it like an amusing like image in my head of throwing out the Charmander. Charmander turns to you and starts waving like, no, 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 sweetie, turn around, play the game. <laughs> I'm disturbed that there are wild fusions. Yes, yep. there oh, are yeah. wild fusions, trainers love fusions. Don't ask how wild fusions work when this <sighs> is a self code developed technology. That was well, my fault. the trainer died, so they wandered off. Yeah. Mm. That guy wants to trade a Spearow for a Bell uh, Sprout. Or they're literally just flying a helicopter around throwing these things at random Pokemon. Uh, I just if I recall correctly, by the way, with those like center trainers there who are like, oh, I, I want like a Spearow for the Bellsprout, they will also take something that is fused with a Spearow. Yes, as long as Basically, it has a that Spearow as part of Spiro it. Or whatever, part whatever they're asking for, they will accept it. Uh, they will also sometimes have fused Pokemon, if I remember correctly. Uh, pretty frequently, actually. It is very. It is more rare for them to have a solo Pokemon than it is for them to have a, uh, a fused. At least as you get kind of later in the game, you run across a lot more people trading fused Pokemon. Yeah. Ah, school. Yep. Yeah, you're level forty. They'll evolve anyways. You have to be an exceptional trader level Pokemon to forty. Yes, this uses a uh, fairy typing, so it has like it. It's effectively game stuff up to Gen Seven. Yeah, oh, it, they, they had to add, Yeah, they they had to like add fairy typing because they added Pokemon from generations where fairy exists. So yeah, so they did fairy typing for all the stuff that would be fairy. Sure. So, uh, I mean, we've already basically gone over all this. Um, they'll evolve when they evolve. You can infuse them, ability stats, etc., etc. Nothing special. 
Uh, the one thing that is actually extremely interesting to me that they did this, so the... the uh, at base level, um, a great a number of the Pokemon, because obviously there's like 176,000 of them, uh, are just like, you know, they used one of those sort of automated generators where you just go like, hey, this Pokemon and this Pokemon, what would the fusion look like? Um, but the community has gradually been making actual custom sprites for fusions. Um, yes, the including... initial set are all from the actual like Pokemon fusion site. Yeah, and uh, including uh, a lot of the ones I mentioned before, where if you, you can fuse, you know, two of the same Pokemon together, uh, they do actually make custom sprites for it. They just don't go, oh, well, you fused a, a you know, a Voltorb and a Voltorb. It just looks like a fucking Voltorb. Like the Voltorb, Voltorb one, if I remember correctly, basically looks like a Master Ball. Interesting. Yeah. There's, uh, at least of the ones I had, like 86 packs of custom images. Of, yeah, of, like some, of like, 40,000 uh, uh, designs. Uh, and there is actually a way when you are doing a fusion to tell if a uh, particular fusion is going to be a yeah. custom sprite or one of the auto-generated ones. Uh, we'll see that when we do our first fusion. Yeah. Here's your package you asked me to get. What? Only five? You cheap motherfucker. Oh, here's your Pokedex. I can't possibly expect you to complete it, but try to get as much as you can. Uh, it is worth noting. Uh, I've discussed this with the, uh, the rest of the crew off stream um, prior to us starting this run. Uh, it is at the moment actually physically impossible to actually fill the entire Pokedex in this game. Uh, the game will actually crash before you get there. <laughs> it is too much data for it to actually take uh, track you getting all of them. The, the, the engine basically cannot actually store that much information at one time. <laughs> Graphs don't interest me. Got seven Pokeballs. We're using something interesting. Oh, so we are not nuzlocking this. Excellent. No, no we're not nuzlocking this. God, no. No. <laughs> no, this is a fun run. <laughs> also, that kind of half defeats this game if you try and nuzlock it. It really does feel like one where you're supposed to grab as many Pokemon. Ah, oh, Spear Gay. I mean, that, that's what Pokemon's all about, is grabbing them all. I mean, Nuzlocke would still work on this, you just also get to fuse your Pokemon together. Yeah, but... I mean, there, it feels there, like there we is... have less to do. There, there are actually rules for Nuzlocke in this game, um, and a few different sort of variants that people do like some of them are like oh well you get to shoot catch two from every region and you have to fuse them or like stuff like that so there, there, there are rules for it but it's like no we're, we're showing off this game because it's actually really cool and a lot of fun we don't need to challenge run it oh Nittle -tata. Nittle -tata. <laughs> the rat infects uh. everything This is a mercy killing. <laughs> <laughs> Got no neck. I feel anything fused with Rattata is going to look horrifying. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what my horrific Radicate abomination is. I think I have it. I think I did a Rattata and a Spiro, so it is now a Spiro and a Radicate. That sounds disturbing. I don't use it because I don't like it looking at me. A regular pigeon. <laughs> hey, not everyone can afford splicers, man. That's true. They're not that expensive, but sure. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're actually super cheap. Oh, you have a rat pie!
experience. Also, trainers oh, yeah. in this basically, game, when you talk to people, will, like give you stuff. They can offer trades. Yeah, basically every uh, every trainer in this game, after you defeat them, you can talk to them for them to do something. You can either sometimes it's refights, sometimes it's uh, they'll give you something. Sometimes yeah, they'll offer you to trade for one of the Pokemon they have. Oh, a little guy. Yeah, you focus, Angie. Blurg. And their turn of Squirt Talk. <laughs> or uh, Squirt Sword. Uh, and when you refight trainers, by the way, if you talk to them and they're one of the ones that let you do a refight, uh, they do actually slowly level up the Pokemon they have, so it's not like a useless effort. Yeah. Nice. His, his starter fusion is at least somewhat dangerous. It does have water gun. But you can actually damage him with Ember. Yes. Yep. Yeah, it does have water gun, and I believe should also have Razor Leaf at this point, but... Really? Razor Leaf at this level? Or Vine Whip, I think. There, that sounds more appropriate for the level. Whatever the first grass attack Bulbasaur usually gets is, I think it's Vine Whip. It's Vine Whip. A Nidoran, female, or male. Yep. Whoop. A dead Nidoran, male. Yeah, you need to uh, not use Ember against wild things in this area now. <laughs> I didn't want to kill you. Good you, news. Hey, you, brothers you are here. like You are like six to eight levels above them. Well, Scratch didn't kill it, so that's good. Yep. yep. Uh, not perfect. Get the ball. And a knitter. Wait, a knitter right now. Yep. Can you get that Pokeball? I can't get that Pokeball. Not that one. What? Oh. I... No, that one, yes, I can't get that one. A potion. My brain doesn't go to a thing like this being walkable. Yeah, I know. It's weird. If I hadn't actually seen the item on there, I would have never guessed it. I will be back. Yep. Yeah, so in my game, I did uh, intentionally go out and catch a Spiro to trade for that uh, Bell Sprout to fuse with my uh, Squirtle. To, uh, to make a water grass Pokemon so it is effectively has very few weaknesses. A Mankey? Hell yeah! And it's not dead, well then. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the keybind for... Back out key is like... X. X. <laughs> A, no, it's, maybe? No, like X. Z, there we go. Z, yeah, it's it's weird, because it's not actually the, like, it's not the same key as backing out of a menu. Yeah. Weird. Does this game have controller support? Yes? I don't know if it has it built in or not. I know on my Steam Deck where I'm playing it, I just have the controller set to, like, various keys. Right. Uh, it does recognize, like, left stick inputs, so I assume it can do keyboards. Or, okay, does it do uh, keyboard support? But, 
but controller support still would fix that because it is quite literally there is a separate key binding for like cancel and back out. Yeah. Where's my bird? <laughs> Let's, uh... So, as you can see here, their silhouettes are green. That means that these are actually constructed sprites. If they are white, it means they're auto-generated. Yeah. Uh, so the fighting type will always be fighting type, but Nidoran eventually becomes a ground poison? If I'm not mistaken? Or the poison ground? Uh... uh the thing about that is that these types, I do not believe, will change through evolution. I, th I thought they would. If, like, if the case is like the the second typing would change, the second type was the one that would be. It might. I just don't know. So poison ground. Poison ground. So technically speaking, if we do so this one, it should change to a fight ground. It'll have a fight ground. I think so. Yeah. Which I think is probably the better choice. <laughs> Also, is probably going to look less horrifying, frankly. <laughs> it does look like it looks less horrifying. It's probably going to have uh, big, angry eyes and a nose, though. <laughs> uh, it is worth noting that literally everything that ever fuses with Geodude is the funniest shit on Earth. That makes sense. That's, that's not okay. terrible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that, that's just a really pissed off pig. <laughs> that is Man yeah. Ran, my angry pig uh, monkey. Poison monkey Pokemon. <laughs> it should also be known that they did Pokedex entries for all of these Pokemon. Uh-huh. Yeah, so they all have their types, which are usually a com combination of some sort of the types of the two. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so they poison monkey Pokemon, fight poison. Uh, when it starts shaking and its nasal breathing turns rough, it's a sure sign of anger. Even the slightest sound does not escape this Pokemon's notice. Yeah, so here we get to choose the ability. Uh, we can either do Poison Point, which is a chance to get poison. Uh, or Anger Point, which maxes our attack after taking a crit. Uh, max attack after crit is nice, but a lot of times you get crit, you die. So yep. uh, uh, we'll yeah. probably do Poison Point. Yeah. Uh, and then we can choose the nature between uh, Special Defense Up and Minus Defense, or Special Attack Up and Minus uh, Attack Up, but considering we are fucking manky, we're going to not reduce our own attack. Yeah. And we will combine movesets. Oh, uh, we don't need Leer. Okay, so now we have Manran. And Terminator. It also uh, averages the levels of the Pokemon when you fuse them together. Um, mm. Although there are later splicers you can get that just use the max level of the two Pokemon you're fusing. Convinced Spiros actually exist over here. <laughs> I think they might actually be on the next route past the uh, past the gate. I'm pretty sure the guy said Route 22. This is Route 22. To step away for a minute. Yep. Yeah, 
Yeah, so, oh, during the daytime. This does use day-night cycle. Ah. That's why we're not finding Spiros. It's not daytime. I forgot to post uh, announcements. Oh, yeah, it's all good. Yep. The gym leader's out of town. I want to steal your sand shrew. We don't have a catching tutorial because uh, if you're playing this game, you know how to catch Pokemon. Kind of disturbing the thought of that being someone's first Pokemon game. Ah, uh -huh. weird for this to be someone's first Pokemon game. I'm gonna go to this weird-ass game if I'd ever played a Pokemon game. Uh, I mean, to be fair, actual Pokemon games? Expensive. Uh, our starter is a Charmander. Yes, we have a Charmander. And we have caught both a... Nidoran male and Minky. Yep. Ah, <clears throat> oh, this person will charge you fear uh, fury cover. Found a poison mushroom. <clears throat> Apparently, it's taken as many poison mushrooms as we. Oh, no, that one died out. Yes, we have the custom sprites added. Oh, look at that beautiful thing! A lady old. Ah. <laughs> you need to die. <laughs> that looks like an enemy from a Sonic game. That is a robot, uh, Dr. Robotnik built. It's not a caterpillar as much as it looks like one. Yes, that, by the way, is the name of that robot. I know. It's a regular ass wheel. I'm sorry, double fusions? What? There's no way that's a thing. Oh yeah, there's nothing that stops you from using two fused Pokemon. When will playing Arceus go far? Or go too far? Apparently, Pecha Berries grow in webs. Yep. Oh, Ladybug. Oh, Ladybug. Oh, 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 okay. Sorry, I thought you were referring to fusing two fused kit Pokemon. That's, uh... That makes more sense. And yeah, we've... We've already had a discussion about some of that stuff. I want, I am looking. I want a Caterpie. Give me a Caterpie. No Caterpie for you. I would imagine you cannot fuse already fused Pokemon together. No. Hey, can't? No. That's no. my impression. Good. 
Uh, no, there'd be a lot more combinations if you could fuse fuse Pokemon together. Yeah. Uh, you'd have like billions of options if you could fuse Pokemon fuse fuse Pokemon together. Chop up a little kick. Oh, we're in. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. All right, you're bug tight. Shouldn't cry to chop you. Oh look, that thing you wanted. Yep, a second Caterpie. He has done modern uh, Pokemon tradition of of um, <laughs> giving XP after catching as well. Yes, it, it's effectively uh, Gen Seven uh, like mechanics. That's good. Oh, that's important. Note the day night cycle appears to be just like a natural day night cycle, not actually based on a real time. So we can try and get a spear now. That's good. I may catch two so I can fuse one. Mankey! Another Mankey! I don't want to overlevel, so I one shot everything. I need a rat. Ah, female need a rat. Yeah, but I already have a need a rat. I need multiple need a rat. That's fair. I already have my Nidaman Rant Mankey, which is really all I need to get past the first gym, so... Yep. What is the first gym? It's Brock. Ah. It's a Rock-type trainer. It's probably some sort of horrible combination, but a Rock-type trainer nonetheless. Although, you know what? Poison me, I'm a poison type. Can't poison me, I'm a poison type. Yep. We've gone over that, Morton. Thank you, though. Uh, 
two hits for 30 or higher crit singles. Wow, now why are you keeping focus energy? At least interesting. Go away, Rattata. I don't want one of you. Hey, that's a Spiro. It's a shame it does not remember which bag slot you're on. Yeah. Here you can. The tiny bird Pokemon. I have to do some things. I have to know what happens. Hello, Mankey. Yeah. Are you going to? Are you going to fuse the Spiro with the Spiro? No. I have a more interesting idea than fusing a spear of a spear, and we're giving that spear away anyway, so. Ah. Um, I may dip back down into the first route to grab a Pidgey, but. Oh god. Well, okay then. And yet we will never have one, Vorden. We refuse to catch the rat. I do refuse to catch a Rattata. <laughs> I have no interest in normal types. Did you just run away from a Spearow? I did. I don't need another Spearow. Ah. I'll probably get a Pidgey. It's like Pidgey. It's between Spidge or, uh, Pidgey and Spearow. I like uh, Pidgey more. So, what are we looking for here? Uh, another mid round male. Ah, okay. Oh, I think I understand. <laughs> I want to know the answer to a question that's not burning in my mind. <laughs> I mean, turning double Rattata into a Rat King makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now to answer my burning question. Is this one? Yeah, that second one looks interesting. Yes, I, yes for, I'm fusing a male and a female bit around together. Because I specifically want to know what happens. Do I just get a, a like, bit around... Genderless? <laughs> I don't know what you are saying. You did do rant. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, they are technically different Pokemon, so... Uh, it remained female. It did remain female. Despite having the, uh, text suggesting it's male yeah. for its, uh, Pokedex entry. Fucking weird. Yep. Yeah. It's definitely still a fusion, so I mean. Yeah. So 
So how much are splicers? Oh, uh, like three or five hundred. Not not much. Uh, okay. So if you find a fusion with a Pokemon you actually wanted, you could just splice it off, technically. Yep. A Pukumuku? A Pukumuku? Why did we get a gift Pokemon? Don't know. But he gave me a Pukumuku. I'll take it. Ah, oh, he's found gems and heal balls. We have this Puka Mooker now. We do have a Pukimuku. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, that first one is disturbing looking. That's right in the first one. Oh, we did not randomize Warden. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Belmuku! <laughs> As yep. Belmuku's thin and flexible body lets it bend and sway to avoid any attack, however strong it may be. It can deck its eternal organs, uh, which it uses to the rest of the text was cut off. Uh, damage attackers land finishing hits or boost sunshine. I'll take that just because I don't care about getting you knocked out. Uh, and you want better attack and defense or better. Uh... Better special. Better special defense? Oh, it's, oh, it's special defense. Never mind. It's... I thought it was special attack. No, it's special defense for minus defense. So we'll get better attack. Uh, get rid of Harden. Okay. So, are you planning on infusing anything with the Charmander? Uh, I'll probably fuse something with the Charmander eventually. I just don't know what I want to fuse with yet. Uh, while you Literally. were gone, while you were gone, Josh uh, or Bagra, uh, we made uh, this thing. Obviously, which you just saw. Uh, we yeah. we also made this, which is a fusion of a Nidoran male and a Nidoran female. Yes, which is just Nidoran. Nidoran. <laughs> <laughs> it is the purest form a Nidoran can be. Ah, uh, genetically purified Nidoran. <laughs> I'm curious what it's going to be when it uh, evolves. I have no idea. Uh, it, 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 it just generally depends on which part is the body. Ooh, gotta be. Uh, I mean, it'll evolve at the same level each time, so... Because they both evolve at the same level? Yeah, well, they yeah both... but it, the, the name still just comes the front half from the head and the back half from the body. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And the nice thing is the Moonstone will evolve both of it to its final form. Yep. I don't know if you'll be able to do that with a single or if you will have to use two. In my test game, I have not actually had a fused mon that both sides used the same stone for evolution, so I don't know if it would just apply one to both sides, or if you would still have to have two and apply one for each. Well, we'll see. 
My moon is fairly early. <laughs> I may actually fuse this canopy for a Charmander. I get a fire bug. Fire flying, technically, at a certain point? So, the or exact early, early point. point. So or bug fire. Or bug fire. I was going to say, very clearly, you need to uh, wait until we get something with dragon typing. So Charmander can That's have true. fucking typing. We, it's we could get something with dragon so we make a proper Charmander. That being said, we could fuse them early and then, and then unfuse them. We, we do lose XP in the unfusion. Um, so it's not without cost. Ah. It's not a ton. It's just whatever is of the current level, basically. It just resets them back to zero XP of their current level. Uh, unless they've changed it. It was like 20% or 25%. Mm. I've only really done on Fusion like once, so I may not have noticed. I mean, to be fair, Vorden, that's all phones with autocorrect. With stuff like Pokemon names. A cat or oh, bat? Go, pierced form of Nidoran. It's literally just the Nidoran female sprite with, like, purple <laughs> coloring. Yep. And a horn. I do like Caterbat. Caterbat looks pretty good. Yeah. Get a cat or bat. Or a wee bat. A wee bat. I mean, we have a uh, caterpie. This is true. We will give him our caterpie in exchange for cat or bat. <laughs> mm. A design I actually really like. Yeah, it's not bad. You're not going to harvest all of the uh, poison mushrooms to sell? Maybe we will. That is going to end up weird as it evolves, but oh, interesting. One. Yes. Yeah. Well, paying attention, that one did go away. Hmm. There can be harvested multiple times. A oh, Pichu. Ah. Ooh. Um, we, you can unfuse, at the very least, stuff that you infuse. I don't know if you can unfuse. I, I do not believe traded. you can unfuse traded mons. Uh, ah. you, you can with a, a specific item later on. You, you can use the regular splicers to unfuse your own mons, or a specific thing you can use to unfuse traded mons. But you don't get delayed in the game. Fair enough. Okay, my curiosity is satisfied. Oh. Unless I'm unless I'm missing something, there's no two types that give like 
no weaknesses anymore. No. They, uh, they fixed that. Yes. Wow. Uh, there are quite a few combinations that have, like, one weakness, but... Yeah, you, yeah. you can get pretty close to no weaknesses, but there are no no weaknesses two types. Granted, electricity only has one weakness in the first place, so... Yep. no way to get rid of electricity's weakness without giving it other weaknesses in the process. I'm pretty sure this game doesn't have the moves for us to make, uh, or the moves that also require you to be doing a double battle to make a immune to damage Pokemon. idea of a little round front. Uh, if only we could rename it Plutonic idea. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it's too big. We can rename it. Um, that's a locked and we'd cut to get to. Have one of you. Spider. My trap! Yeah, spider. Not my preferred spider Pokemon. The spider Pokemon, otherwise. What's your preferred spider Pokemon? The Joltik. Tarantula. Ah, mine. The electric spider. Not that weird abomination that's in the scarlet and violet. Oh, I'm so going to make a spin of chew. <laughs> <laughs> Blocked off. Kind of gay. I also don't hate that. Yeah. Well, did just throw sand at me like an asshole. The problem with all the 
<laughs> you do want to learn Taya Whip Twice. <laughs> no, you don't want to focus on her. The problem that's going to be with most of the Caterpie evolutions is that, especially Caterpie with a bird. <laughs> well, that's head, so. Uh, like, it does eventually. It eventually is not a uh, caterpillar, which means I don't know how those evolutions turn out once you hit level 10. Whoop, oh, I wasn't paying attention. You want a rematch. Fight again. Now level uh, uh, nine. No, I like my Mankey Bomb Nation. Yes, we can go up here. There's a Move reminder, he can retain just moves that we learned from leveling up. This guy will let us change the rules. Uh, you know, we can turn on randomization on and off from here. And then once we get gym badges, we can do wonder trades. That just seems wrong. What's that? They push in it, Shen Ninja in here. What's wrong with that? It's Gen 2. Nah, it's Gen 3. Is it Gen 3? Yes, yeah. it's Gen 3. I mean, it does have stuff from Gen 3 through 7, just a much limited, much more limited list. And specifically, Fuse with the head being a normal type gives it only darkness weakness and still has Wonder Guard and it actually has hit points. Yeah. I mean, getting dark attacks isn't that tough. There are plenty of Pokemon that have them. Oh, I know, but uh, the chances of the opposing uh, Pokemon versus it having a dark attack isn't exactly high. It's a lot harder to deal. Or it's a lot harder to deal with slash uh, be screwed with than um, a normal Shin Ninja, which has a myriad of weaknesses. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Get the broom. Yes, yeah, the beer act. <laughs> Arceus, preserve us. <laughs> well, the Pokemon evolutions aren't going to change too much. Oh, no. it's attack and special defense? Or special attack and defense? Uh, special attack and defense? Things a monster. I 
apologize for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're going to see worse on our Pokemon fusion journey, but... The fusions will be infinite. Except for that. I gotta step away for a second, I'll be right back. Yep. How dare you. I want a Galvantula. We have Galvantula at home. Galvantula at home. <laughs> Hey, do you want Tail Whip? No. You sure you want? You don't I, want Tail Whip? I never want Tail Whip. <laughs> Did you gonna capture you and eventually fuse you into something? Into a sparrow? I don't have a spear, anyways. Into a hoot hoot. <laughs> Double bird. Wait, you can't both be tiny bird Pokemon. Why not? Are they not both tiny birds? Doesn't matter. I'm actually kind of curious what their, uh, what they are. But. <clears throat> well, Pidgey and Spearow are not actually the same thing like that. What do you uh, mean? Okay, Pidgey is the tiny bird Pokemon. What is Spearow? Spearow is also wow. I'm also wrong. tiny bird Pokemon. Yeah, also no, they are tiny, both tiny bird. bird. Yeah. Usually, you don't have the same classification, but even in Gen One, they were both tiny bird Pokemon. Interesting. Yep. I mean, we wanted to be slightly less tiny bird Pokemon. I wonder if there are any others. Quests? Yep. They're also quests. Sold one. <laughs> Fully evolved bug type Pokemon. So get our uh, Caterpie up to level 10. And somewhere there's a lost uh, Revive. 
man. He's like 40 some odd side quests. Still mysterious man selling magic harp. And that guy basically telling you, hey, you should still level up your weak Pokemon because Magic Harp comes Gyarados. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. Also slightly easier to uh, level up Magic Harp when it's fused with something else. Nice that you can do it here instead of Cinnabar Island. We apparently have a Dragonite fossil. No. That's the dome fossil? That's the dome fossil. Yeah. Uh, Aerodactyl doesn't have an evolution. Correct. Granados, I would hope. Yes. <laughs> also, because Cubo is not a. Uh... Well, yeah, in the previous one, Kangaskhan was listed. Oh. Also, not a fossil Pokemon. It around. You can look months left. said it was around a uh, bench. Ah, there, there we go. Mine now! <laughs> I'd say, I, I assume <laughs> you could just say mine now. It went in the regular pocket. It wasn't a key item, so... One person. Person has been helped. Agent Flash. Oh, 
I gotta fight Brock. All right, it's effectively Gen 1 trainers. Yeah. It'd be funny if it actually fused the trainers from Gen 1 and Gen 2. Uh, there are actually like 18 trainers in the game. Or uh, 16 trainers in the game. Like there's 16 badges you can get. A little, another set of 8 badges you can get after the main game. Ah, oh, much like Gen 2 did. I meant to swap you. <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, it's weak as shit, but we have it. Well, like you are well you're level almost, 5. Can you say you're almost half its level. Level 5, and it's not a strong attack uh, heck to begin with, so... Yeah. And then throw out... Man Ram. Ah, Nita and Prime. Yep. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Caterpie evolutions are solid. Yeah, fusion to solid. Yeah. Sand dude. Sand dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I. I'm sorry, I'll save you. <laughs> no, don't offend. You're only making it take longer. <laughs> Alright, Brock. Why didn't you future Geodude your Onyx with? <laughs> Oh, that's different. Huh. We only get to use a number of Pokemon equal to the... Uh... Oh, equal to gym leaders? Mm -hmm. Yep. So definitely Manran and, yeah, probably Manran. Yep. <laughs> that's an angry bird. That is a very angry bird. Yeah, sorry, that I returned. Welcome back. We're fighting Brock. Oh, oh god, that bird has hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's actually a more horrified the other way around. <laughs> Dignix. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god! Oh god! That is fucking nightmare fuel. This is gonna hurt. Uh... And your poison? Yep. Oof! Yep, yeah, that one yep. shot it. Well, 
Well, no. Well, we'll have to, uh... Oh, we'll I'll have to come back to this one. Yeah. Yep. Well, good thing we're not doing does walk. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh, oh. Um, level up that, uh... <laughs> that bell, whatever. Belnick. Or no, is that Belnick? Uh... Say that isn't weak to ground, at least. Uh, the... The... Belmuku. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh no, I can't get away! This is the best fan game. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I like to be. I'd also like to be know that Mankey Spiro, the other way around, is just a Spiro with a Mankey head. Sounds all right. <laughs> Are you like it looking at a wiki for this? There's an actual like. Uh, yeah, there's an actual generator. Calcu yeah, um, or calculator. We'll show the uh, uh, sprites. Yeah, sprites, general stats. Or figure out what nonsense you could hypothetically uh, fuse a shit ninja with. For no oh. reason. <laughs> no, P Rack. <laughs> Sand in our eyes. An asshole. A pit ramp. The Marvel. Yes, we are using the uh, community sprites. Yep. Yes, hence uh, my awful bug Pichu, which is a community sprite. Ah. P rack. Uh, yes, this is the first run that we've done of uh, Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Uh, 
Uh, I am doing my own game of it, and I am fairly far along. Uh, I want to say six gym, uh, so I have a decent amount of knowledge. But again, also the primary progression is just by a red leaf green. So there are story elements that are added for infinite fusion, but the primary progression is just yeah, by a red leaf green. Also, Jesus Christ, <laughs> that's a nice. <laughs> Put that thing half its misery. Oh, God. to make an Ultra Owl. Could make an Ultra Owl. That's just a Gryphon. <laughs> That's a, uh... Not dead. We have some antlers and we can get a jackalope. Almost a wolf retainer. Yeah, very nearly a wolf retainer. on belly because we're probably going to have to use belly to deal with freaking uh, horrible dignics Dignix monstrosity again. So sorry for so many of these creatures. Ow. Oh, bye, Billy. Yep.
I did not expect, I expect you to actually win this fight, Catterbat. Yeah, there we go. Yep, yep. See, we have a, a first time chatter while I was stepped away. Yep. A metapod, that's basically free XP. A metapod that you purposely didn't evolve. Yep. Didn't want to just sit there and hit it with one ability. No, it'll take forever. with Ember where it's hard and it does literally nothing. <laughs> so. Yeah, my Gen 1 run-throughs are usually Squirtle. Cataracts? Yeah, I chose Squirtle for... <laughs> I, I chose Squirtle for my playthrough, which means I have breezed through the front half of the game and struggle in the back half. Ow. Once again, Caterpie Fusions, pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Caterback, good job. You went out, good XP. All right, now something they can actually close. Hey, do you know Cataran's is uh, snare attack <laughs> backwards? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are we ends? Uh, no, we didn't do the hidden area. Bats evolving. Yep, Caterbats evolving into Meta Bat. Would make sense. Not quite as adorable. No. Fine, it will evolve soon. Yeah, we have evolved from three levels. So. And may count as a fully evolved Pokemon, Pokemon? I'm not sure. I would imagine so. The bug part's fully evolved. Yeah, but the Pokemon's not fully evolved. I wanted to fight you, kid. Call a hoot. That's not bad design at all. No. Oh no, the hypnosis is working on Vince. <laughs> Ow. 
definitely slower. Uh, Mandarin. Trade his Pokemon as long as we trade him at least Pokemon level 10. Nice time to put a little side area like that where we can get some uh, interesting Pokemon. It's got some useful items in it too. It might actually be worth going to. I mean, Route 1's not far away. We can always run back. By the way, sorry for the occasional throat clearing. You're fine. Cataracts! No! How dare you throw a real attack, you coward! Ah, oh, so they have the uh, Goku right there in here. Interesting. I might actually have to download this. Okay. Fine, I forced my hand. Oh, those respawn. That's from the night. Which is good. I need like three tiny mushrooms.
Okay. Every day the mushrooms uh, can regrow. That's handy. A weepy. <laughs> a Pikachu that hasn't been turned into a spider. We can fix that, you know. Why would you want one of those? Defensive Pokemon ever made. <laughs> well, use Harden or Harden. <laughs> okay, I've lost interest in the Vine Whip Death Slime. Come, something with a special attack. Yep. A curse of memory. Curse of memory for that, but not for your inventory. Which is strange in and of itself. Fight you, Paris. This have to save. It's okay, we chew life won't hurt you for much longer. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right you can sleep now <laughs> uh, do keep in mind we brought this up earlier uh the beginning of the stream do not try to complete the actual full uh decks with including fusions uh the game cannot handle it it will crash yeah no just regular decks is the special reward that, uh, that they're talking about yeah, I know. I'm just adding in, like, yeah, complete the regular decks. Absolutely do that. That's probably something I will also aim for. Uh, I have a... <laughs> I have a currently complete living decks in Pokemon uh, Home uh, and Pokemon Scarlet. Uh -huh. So I, I'm i completely used to the idea of, of catching them all. But uh, for Infinite Fusion, definitely do not try to fuse them all. At least, not currently. Not uh, far-fetched. I know people that would try it. Especially if they ended up adding a wave that allows you to fuse and unfuse 
without expendable items. Uh, you I know people you that do get do that. fusing with them. With uh, you do eventually get an a infinite use fusion item. Caught a duck. A duck! Is it a duck? Wild duck Pokemon. Huh? Well, so it is. It's, it's a duck with a leak. Yep. I never thought of it as a duck. Will certainly make things that are monstrosities of that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much a guarantee. Yep. That's actually less monstrous than I thought it would look. What did you fuse with it? A Pidgey, because that's why I had the second slot. Huh. Strangely, that actually doesn't look too terrible. In the sense that it just more looks ridiculous. Oh, fair enough. Get the ball. I was hoping to get a little bit lower so it keeps healing. Ah. There's a Pidgey, no one cares. Your duck already have one here. That's yeah, it's not a secret, it's just that sprite collision. play we'll probably holding on those max revives and max potions we could probably sell we are by the way no strangers to pokemon for the most part um if you uh check on our youtube channel uh, there have been a number of pokemon things that we've done from uh this gym of mine uh we did a randomizer for black 2 i think it was uh yeah randomizer for black 2 we did a soul link for uh our gold and soul silver. Our gold and soul silver that eventually died. Did Elden Ring? That's totally a Pokemon game. You can't give it to me otherwise. We. <laughs> <laughs> and one day we will return to the lands between region of Pokemon. 
Wonder when that's gonna get a remake. What? The Lands Between version. I mean, DLC is coming at some point. Besides the duck, I already have. Yeah, we were told there's Eevees here. Let us see the Eevees. I wonder if any of the other routes have secret areas. No idea. I didn't even know the secret area on Route 1, so... As soon as, uh, as soon as they add the home integration for Scarlet and Violet, we plan on doing a an interesting run of Scarlet and Violet co-op. Yeah. Oh, did I? There we go. That's a fun oh. one. Yeah. Once home integration, so the uh, hunter run can save off his stuff. Uh, we plan on doing a wonder trade run of uh, Scarlet and Violet. Yep. Yep. Do you want a melty version of any Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we'll go sell off some of this excess uh, stuff we got. Yeah. Dittos of uh, for me, pretty much just been a, well, now I can breed my Pokemon for uh, shiny hunting. Or for uh, distributing exclusives.
regular cocoon. Regular Weedle. You want me to heal your Pokemon? Sure. Too bad. Too bad. The return of Category. Mawile confirmed in game? I have no idea. Could be one of the like 169 non gen one gen twos. Mawile? Yeah. Uh, it is in the calculator. So, yes. Nice. Uh, can you check for. Actually, I think I already know the mines in there. Uh, dust Caller. This, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Excellent. pursuit. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. I think our plan, plan for Brock is going to be to level up. Uh, Belly should be what you level up. You want that grass? I'm gonna level up. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get. Uh, what can call it? My, my plan is to turn this into a, uh, a butter bat. Ah! So it's flying, so I just can't get hit by Dig. That is also fair. All right. Though, uh, this would be bug bat, uh, bug fly, or bug poison. No, it's bug flying right now. Uh, it's bug flying right now? Yes. It's a... oh, okay. Yeah. I Pro... thought it was, uh, I thought, oh, I guess Zubat is poison flying. Yes, Zubat is poison flying. Yes. I got the order of that wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's going to end up as bug flying. Yeah. Yes. Much like, you know, just a butterfly. Yes. Much like a yes. butterfly. It's tight to not change at all. What? Metabat is evolving! That? That's just a butterfree of different wings. Yeah. Yep. 
I'm fine with this. <laughs> now to wait for its final evolution when, or next to final evolution, because it does actually have Crobat in here. No earthly idea how it actually evolves. Oh, level. Yeah, we want to get level 12? Because level 12 was nice to get confusion. I don't think it'd be going in this goal bet that early. Oh, that goal bet was 25. Well, I have no idea oh, about that's 22. No idea about goal but, bet. Uh, Butterfree will get but confusion at 12. Yeah. I do like its next two evolutions as well. <laughs> I'll tell you pack. Oh. Die either way. Oh, you tried for her. Absorb the confusion. All right, Brock round two. Now a Pokemon that aren't specifically weak to dig. Now two Pokemon that aren't weak to dig. I mean, I'll probably still use Manran. But now a Pokemon that's weak to dig and a Pokemon that is immune to dig. Angry Bird. One of the good feathers from Animaniacs. <laughs> the one the voice by the uh, Joe Pesci sounded like? Yep. Well, it all says Rock Tomb. Oh, the bright side to poison it. Okay. All right. Well, round three.
that was part of the reason why I was recommending Belly. I figured uh, it was rock. Yeah, no, the uh, fusions add a lot more change up on it. Ah, oh, there's a speed up button. Yeah, but I'm not that hard about. Well, the change up mostly being it has. Actually, did he have a dig beforehand? No. Okay, yeah, that's from the Dicklets. Yes, that's from the Dicklets. But Rock Tomb, for I remember, is actually something he has. Yes. Rock Tomb, I think, is actually his signature move. You and your pursuit. Okay, you didn't kill me. Mouse to an electric rat. Yep. Ah. That thing looks like it makes pizza in a restaurant. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Behold the power of a Pokemon whose genetics haven't been ravaged by ill-advised splicing. Because it's a weird-ass 
Onyx and Diglett combination that uses Dig. It also means, like, traditionally, both Bulbasaur and, uh... Uh, Squirtle were really good for the first gen, but Bulbasaur also now dies instantly from Dig. Yep. Uh, Squirtle is still basically fine. Yeah, Squirtle's still basically fine, but Bulbasaur being a grass poison type just gets ruined. Yeah. I mean, Bulbasaur isn't, though. Isn't Bulbasaur just basically... It was just, uh, grass? Nope. Grass poison for the entire line. Wow. Yeah. Can, can verify, uh, Squirtle trivializes Brock. I mean, he always did. Always will. I genuinely think I used Water Gun twice and his gym exploded. That sounds about correct. <laughs> that fucking face. Beautiful. Because <laughs> your previously one worked so well. The previous one was a Caterpie fusion, not a Weedle fusion. Totally different. Completely different things. It's like the difference of red and blue. A Pika Puff. Okay, that's oh my kind god. Of it's both adorable and looks like a off-brand knockoff you'd find at, like, a <laughs> discount store. Yeah. Yeah. Behold, best selling have, toy, Monster I, I, I have absolutely seen this thing in the toy aisle at Dollar Tree. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Oh, right, Butterbat doesn't uh, follow my orders because I don't have a badge yet. <laughs> he was a Pokemon that I got via trade. Yep. Yeah. It's fine, he still wants to kill. Selling a magic harp. You sure you don't want a magic harp? It's only five hundred. Actually, wouldn't be terrible to get because you can just no. use it with another Pokemon, so it actually has moves. Yes, and probably better stats. It would have to be better stats. Hard not to have better stats.
think it's just a bunch of birds sitting around now. <laughs> Birds or more bugs? Yep. <laughs> Clearly, you need to fuse it with the far fetch to make it a proper duck. <laughs> Match a fetch. Go, God! <laughs> Well, that's frightening. Well, that thing is angry. I think it's angry and also possibly high. Well, it has pursuit. It's just not good at it. Well, it has pursuit because it's the frickin' Spiro. Uh, Spiro, yeah. I like to imagine when you hit uh, Belly on the head, it just makes a little, like, squeaky toy sound. Belmuku can take on Brock's Burger Jam. So we can get inside this mountain. Really, the murder Diglett on excuse. The, the murder. Send Charmander in, throw a potion, let him get annihilated by a dig. Alright, let's throw it. That's all you got. <laughs> Hey, we got two good hits in, though. We got yeah. two good hits in. We 
Good job, Belly. Yep. Weak. Congratulations, you finished something off. Got a boulder badge. Got rock tomb. Be sure to talk to the guy outside the museum. It's got a premium wonder trade ticket. Yep, you do get one of those for every gym leader you beat. It basically gives us a random Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Uh, they're going to be fused Pokemon of some sort, and you do still have to send something in the wonder trade. Just like any other wonder trade. So, you know, go catch some garbage outside and then huck it in yep. the wonder trade machine. Uh, we have a hoot hoot I don't care about. There you go. regular wonder tickets <laughs> yeah you can buy regular wonder trade tickets but you don't get as good as stuff from it <laughs> there's the jiggly poke aww in six months I'll post a reaction to the jiggly poke now now slow down you're going too fast I care for Jiggly Poke. You may need a Charmander to incinerate something. I mean, we're not that far from literally the Pokestone is also right outside of it. It is also 930, and this would not be a terrible point to uh, save. Yeah. We'll, we'll punch a bit into the... Uh, oh. Uh, cave first. Oh, also, did you go talk to the uh, quest person that wanted to see a fully evolved bug? Oh, that's right. Let me go see if that actually works. Yeah, that that's... was a good question. It, it's literally the same thing I did, so it does. Okay. Ah, okay, this is explaining the hidden abilities thing. So Pokemon won't normally show up with their hidden abilities, but uh, various routes will basically get a uh, Pokemon of hidden abilities are showing up here effect. Ah, neat. Uh, the routes change every 1500 steps. Uh, you want to see Bug? No, you want to see Tiny Mushroom one. You want to see Bug. Oh, uh, yeah, not able because it's not fully vault. Huh. The bug part is fully oh, evolved, but know, the Pokemon itself you know, is not fully evolved. You, you, you know what it was? I had a, uh, I did a Caterpie and Weedle. Yeah, that, that would be fully evolved at ten, but the because that is a uh, has evolutions it can do. It is not a fully evolved bug Pokemon. That's unfortunate. That's fine.
bugs running around beating up everyone's Pokemon. Oh my god. <laughs> Get your baby! Get your baby! <laughs> Don't kill your baby. Yeah, yeah I should I was about to say, Belly's not that strong. Clearly, you fuse it with a Geo, dude. Uh, I'm actually probably gonna no, because I've seen what that fuse looks like. Fuse it with like Charmander. Uh, I'm either gonna fuse it with Charmander, or I do consider fusing it with a Flying type, just for the double uh, ground electric immunity. Not a terrible idea. And I have plenty of birds to fuse it with. Eventually, look like. Yeah, we probably actually both use it with Charmander, though. It's gonna be double weak to water. It will be very weak to water. It'll be double weak to water, it'll be weak to ground, and nothing else. Uh, it'll double. It'll be double weak to water until later, depending which way the evolution we do the evolution or the fusion. Uh, no, it doesn't change. I mean, we could unfuse it's always it fire. and refuse it to make it back. Oh, no, Charmander is always fire, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, Charmander's always fire. Yeah. It's always a fire ground. Yeah. Yes, starters are always primary type. Uh. And word of advice, uh, you want the Charizard probably to be the head. For every conceivable reason. Uh, it's a better stat line. It's a better stat line, and it looks better. So as I said, for every conceivable reason. Good thing the PC's right outside. Yep. Okay, that was weird seeing all of them all, <laughs> just all step standing there. <laughs> Okay, they're going to move down, left, right, left. Okay, we're on the right seat. <laughs> <laughs> command, 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 attack. Alright, we'll be done with this game in like a half hour. <laughs> Views. This charge. Uh, fire ground. So this way. Right. Yes. Yeah, that one. Begin the dance. That is yes, awesome. exactly <laughs> as I said. <laughs> Better in every conceivable boy. Charshu. So, oof. Uh, neither of my natures are good. Um, no. Especially considering uh, <laughs> special attacker. Yeah. Although it's also part. Sand I can do physical attacks, but um Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab regular defense, I guess. And both of these are kinda of meh. Uh we'll Sandvale. Blaze is probably better than Sandvale, just cause how often are you actually gonna be in a sandstorm? Uh considering I'll get the ability to make sandstorms. Yeah, but are you actually going to use it? <laughs> uh no, we don't actually care about scratch. We do not care about Growl. Uh, well, we do care about Ember. We do care about yeah. Ember. Um, Ember can replace... Fury Cutter's not actually terrible, just could doubles in power every time we use it, or goes up in power every time we use it. We'll get rid of Rapid Spin. We 
don't have to care about smokescreen. All right, I'll be back. Yep. Yep. have Paris. Correctly, you go back out and talk to Brock, and he gives you Rock Smash. And the Ska throw. Azufa. Gosh, it's like somebody dressed up their fairy for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty, tasty butter bat. <laughs> Always make sure to butter your bats. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Has no eyes. Only sunken sockets where they should be. And this is why you try to avoid the auto generated ones, they're not always great. <laughs>
I'll steal my energy, you coward. Fine. A uh, Geo dude. Dude, dude, if you die instantly, how am I supposed to fuse you with Burr? <laughs> or a magic arm? <laughs> Probably the magic arm. All four of them gathered around the counter facing the door had very much, uh, look casual vibes. <laughs> So we can fuse it with a bird. Actually, our magic arm. Fuse it with onyx, so it eventually becomes true water onyx. <laughs> Clearly, need to figure out if they put uh, Phoebus in this game or uh, Melodic, so I can fuse it with Melodic to be the combination of the two Pokemon that just have swap stat lines. Good uh, lord. What, uh, no on both. Wait, what was that first one? Uh, Phoebus. Oh, Phoebus is here. Which means, uh, uh, Milotic would be in the game as well. With the devolution. Uh, I wasn't expecting a weak-ass Absorb to kill you, Gia, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh. Yes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is from the same pack that the uh, Jigglypuff Pikachu was from. That, that's that's just a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, who's ready to learn some math? Yeah. Uh, D Gyarados and uh, uh, Militech are <laughs> literally swapped stat lines. Gyarados has all the attacks with bad defense and uh, Militech has all the uh, big defenses of low attacks. They they both 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 work the same way. They could they evolve from a fish that only learns splash. They're both water. They are both water. Yep. Yep. Yes. Literally a like Gyarados alternate effectively. That is in fact not a Geodude. It's so cute. I mean, that's not gonna last once it evolves, so. Two levels off? Two levels off. Armander 16. 
Charmander 16, uh, 22 for 22 or 24? Yeah, plus. 22. 20, uh, yeah, 22, unless it's the alone one. And then 36. Yes, then 36. Like a rockfish. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we forced ourselves into a dumb battle. <laughs> <laughs> he is unfortunately more resistant. Oh, and got a crit. Yeah, and got a crit. Carp fusion, that'll be it for this session. Or you have a legitimate choice. Do you want bear stats now or later? I mean, we'll probably end up doing the whatever one gets us rock type. It's gonna be rock water as opposed to ground water. It's rock water either way. Geodude apparently insists on rock. Oh, uh, is Geodude always rock? Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Organize fuse. Which makes sense, actually. Yeah, see, rock water. Uh, we're, so, we're going to go with that first one. I want them fists. <laughs> uh, that is the better one later. Because that will be primary Gyarados. Gyarados, yeah. Well, are you looking at stats for primary Gyarados into Golem? Yes. Go okay. There's not a huge difference between the two, but there's slightly more. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, that thing never stops screaming. <laughs> that, that thing is pumped. All the time. <laughs> it's always at max decibels. Alright, let's get mad to do it in our party. The rockfish Pokemon. The other way around is also humorous in its own way. <laughs> we'll keep sturdy. And uh, we'll get defense for special defense because we're a geo. <laughs> we're not meant to be a defensive Pokemon. <laughs> uh, no, we do not learn Splash. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, I do. I think you're coming off the team. <laughs> ah, Jigglypoke. <laughs> I mean, Jigglypuff's probably not terrible. Uh, in all honesty. It eventually becomes a Wiggly King. <laughs> it eventually becomes a Wiggly King. Which is a great name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we'll replace our Butterfree. Butterbat.
move kit. <laughs> oh! It pumped about fitness. You'll die if anything hits with the special attack. Yep. Nice. Okay, well, uh, that's our first session of Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Uh, we have our current team of uh, Pyrak, my adorable electric spider. Uh, Charshu, my adorable fire uh, shrew. Manran, uh, a pig rat? <laughs> pig rat, yeah. That's what yeah. it looks like. I mean, it doesn't include rat, but it looks like a pig rat. Uh, Belly, who is some sort of plant thing. <laughs> uh, our buddy, who we got from a trade, who is a uh, jiggly bro. Yep. And, uh, of course... Magic dude. And uh, we'll continue this adventure next week. Uh, but in the meantime, join us tomorrow as we continue playing through Man Eater, otherwise known as GTA but with sharks. Uh, join us on Thursday as we continue running through Dying Light. Uh, I think we're actually about the point we're going to get to the second map. Uh, yep. And then uh, on Sunday for our regular Super Robot Sundays with uh, SD Gundam G Generation Cross Rays. And back here next uh, Monday for more of this uh, Pokemon Infinite Fusion nonsense. I uh, hope everyone's enjoyed it. I've been Shiv. I've been Bograt. I've been the Krampus. I've been Andre Green. And I'm Vincent. And uh, thanks for coming along for this wild ride. Hopefully we'll see you next week. Have a good one, everyone. Yep. <laughs>